Rexford Katna is the president of Keats Group, joining us today to share ideas on how CPAs can initiate business succession plans. Welcome, Rex. Focusing on CPAs, how do you help them better serve their business clients? What potential benefits or monetization opportunities can CPAs get from collaborating with you? Deb, thanks for the invitation. Uh, accounting and tax reporting um, are core CPA services, just like investment management is for our industry. Uh, but they've become commoditized to an extent, or or at a minimum, they've become very fee sensitive. Okay. So providing services beyond tax reporting, the the, the non tax season services are very valuable. Yeah. Uh, it's technical work. It's okay. not very scalable for most CPAs, and so we have decided as a firm to collaborate with them, share tools such as tax reports. We issue tax reports annually to our clients that identify forward-looking tax opportunities okay. and uh, they tend to be very very valuable um, okay. the financial benefits for the cpas include um, fee-based revenue outside of tax season um, mm. recurring revenue better client retention okay all right so elaborate on how having a current valuation can directly raise the value and selling price of a business well, we think of valuation as a, as a report on the state of the union, not a number. Okay. Um, and we share some responsibility as an industry for that. We don't draw or make very strong links between valuation and net proceeds, but those exist. We know what buyers want. Buyers want recurring revenue. They want a lack of dependency on the owner or on a supplier or a customer. Uh, hmm. And we help identify those in part with a survey tool that we share with CPAs that might help identify people that have uh, risk hmm. management or asset protection risks. Okay. Uh, that tool is helpful as as well as uh, going through a valuation exercise for a client who might be at that stage. Okay. Well, and every year CPAs see those April, October tax deadlines. What advice do you have for them to engage in some meaningful succession planning conversations with their clients? Well, succession planning is a sensitive topic, and it's usually avoided by both owners and CPAs. Right. CPAs have, I learned that lesson uh, long ago in my years at Deloitte, working within the same firm with the tax practice. Okay. Uh, those relationships are close. Yeah. And there's a reason why succession planning is sensitive. It's, it's uh, you know, it deals with personal issues of retirement and family and money. Yeah. And, uh, and we, help them, we help them through that process. Right. Well, Rex Katna, President of Keats Group, thank you so much for your insights today. Thank you for having me.